This is Cliff Evans from British metal band Tank. Uh, you're listening to South East Wreck Metal. Welcome to our show and welcome to Finland. Thanks, great to be here. It's been a long time since we've been in Finland, so it's uh, it's a real pleasure to come here and play some shows for the fans. Um, as you know, we were supposed to be here in 1984 we were on the Metallica Ride the Lightning tour, but um, unfortunately the weather was pretty bad then and our van that we were travelling in just wasn't really up to the job, so um, we couldn't make it on that tour. So you know, that was 1984, so we've just managed to come back now. Well, it's cool to have you here. You are about to release a new album, some re-recorded classic tank stuff. How did you end up to do new versions about old classic material? Well, it's something we've been thinking about for quite some time now. Um, a lot of the um, these old songs are still in our set, these classic songs, um, and they sound a lot different now to, to when we originally recorded. Originally recorded. So um, we, we thought let's let's kind of um, let's update them a bit. New production, you know, much more update up-to-date production with the new lineup. Um, I mean the original recordings are still there, they sound fantastic, just a bit dated now. So we thought let's go in, you know, give them the full metal makeover um, and pick pick um, there's 11 songs from the first four albums. Um, you know, some of our favourites, there's a lot of songs to choose from there. And we just went, we went in and just recorded the stuff and, and you know, the way we play them now. And it sounded really good. It's quite a low-budget album. We did it pretty quickly, and uh, the result is really good. So, so we're, we're quite happy with that. It's good fun doing it as well. How hard job was it to pick up those songs? Well, we all kind of picked some of our favourite songs. I mean, I mean, there was um, yeah, a lot of them we hate. We, we all we all knew. We kind of knew which ones we were going to do. And then a few odd ones there. We had to just like just pick it, and, and that's it. But we thought, if this album does okay, we'll do another one with some more songs on there. Um, so it's just like a side project. It's, uh, it's not like a regular yeah, new studio album. It's just something for a bit of fun um, uh, and, and just a bit of promotion as well. So you know, if this one you know, does okay, we, we'll, we'll do another one. Um, but yeah, alongside, we'll, we'll have a, another proper studio album out um, as well, um, which we would go and start recording soon. So it's all original material, all new songs. Uh, so the, these, this, this album, Reignition, is you say, it's just a bit of fun there redoing the old stuff and we'll yeah, possibly do a reignition volume two next year. You have also special guests on the album. Can you tell us who, who they are? Well, it was um, our, our record company, um, Cleopatra Records in, in Los Angeles, um, that they said, uh, how about you know, get, get some guest people, and people who were influenced by Tank um, you know, back in the day there. So we thought that's a good idea to make it a bit more interesting and a bit more fun for the fans as well. So we thought, well, who should we get? Now, the first name that came to mind, it was Tom Angel Ripper uh, from Sodom. He, he's a big Tank fan and a very good friend of ours. And we thought, that's it, um, the song Power of the Hunter. That was made for him, that song. Um, so I, I asked him, he straight away, yep, he wanted to do it. So we sent him a backing track there and he put a really amazing vocal down that works really well. Uh, and then the record label suggested, um, they were friends with Danny Filth from, from the Cradle of Filth. Um, and they said he, he was a big Tank fan, yeah, he grew up listening to Tank. So uh, they said send him Shell Shock, he'd love to do that. And again, back and track went to him, a few days later he sent back his, his amazing vocal. And it's, it's, a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of fun, yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I think also on the, on the Japanese bonus tracks we have Doogie White. Um, he's singing a track and there's a guitar player from Dark Angel, he's on there as well.
also some lineup changes before doing this new album. Uh, you have new new vocalist David Reedmana and then Randy Van Der on bass. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we've always um, always had problems with singers <laughs> in the past few years. Um, obviously, when we we got back together, and we did uh, War Machine. We brought in Doogie White. He did two albums with us, um, and then Michael Schenker comes along and, and takes him. So I thought that's okay. You know, Schenker pays a lot more money, and he there's a lot more work. So yeah, Doogie's a professional singer. So I thought, okay, you, you go ahead and do that. Um, then we had to find someone else, and uh, we got uh, ZP Theat, who was with Dragon Force. Um, I met up with him in a pub one day. We got talking. I said, you know, come along and do a couple of shows with Tank. See how you get on there. And he came in, and he was really good. His voice was was fantastic. And we wrote the album um, Valley of Tears with him. Um, did quite a lot of touring, and then um, Skid Row comes along. <laughs> to steal him but he, again he, he was we were okay with that I mean he's a massive Skid Row fan that's his favourite band so it's like a dream come true for him, him to to um, go and play with them so, so he, he went off with them he's doing really well now and then we thought okay who do we get in next I mean we always want to keep the standard really high get the best we can prob- possibly get um, someone suggested uh, David Reedman um, uh, and I, I wasn't familiar with, with his voice um, on, or, or Pink Cream 69, who he was with at the time. So we, um, he lives quite near to Mick uh, in Holland. Um, so we said, come down, let's have a, have a jam, see how you get on with it. Um, I thought it probably won't work because there's a bit more AOR, sort of lighter stuff than that. But when he came in, within seconds, it's like, whoa, this guy can really sing this old, you know, this old tank stuff. Really powerful voice, worked perfectly. So um, it's been great. I mean, the band sounds really, really good now. Uh, so, yeah, David's a fantastic vocalist, great frontman. Um, and Randy Van Der Elsen, um, he was suggested by our, um, our, our last bass player, Baron Coubois. Uh, so he went in to join um, Blind Guardian. So we thought, okay, we've got to get someone else in. And Baron said, there's a guy that he, he's been teaching, uh, Randy Van Der Elsen. So he, he, a young guy, he came down, fantastic bass player, and also a brilliant vocalist as well. So that really adds like another dimension to, to, to the band. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's a good lineup right now. Like you said, you have a standard with with singers, and you try to keep it high. But also, uh, when I was looking at Randy, uh, well, he reminds me about uh, young Chris Dale. Uh, a bit lookalike, but not so, uh, you know, uh, yeah, not not so crazy on stage. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, Chris, Chris is a great bass player, great guy to have around. So yeah, we're still re- really good friends yeah. and that. Um, but but he um, he had yeah, when he's in the band for a while, he, he did two. Um, Three, el- three albums, two or three albums with us, um, two, that's it. Um, and he had other things going on as well, so he left. But yeah, he's, he's a cool guy, and I guess Randy does have a similar sort of look there. Um, but Randy's a better singer. <laughs> oh, there you go, Chris. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> As you see, well, it's now whatever. Cause I'm left with these mouths to be. I want to see those rivers bleed. Do you know just what they say? Whoa! You have a plan to do uh, brand new songs with this lineup? Yeah, yeah so but we'll start, um, we're writing at the moment, so as soon as we finish these dates um, and before we go to Japan, we'll, we'll, we'll start um, demoing the, the songs up. So we'll get them together and we'll record them later this year um, and probably look at a, a new album release early next year, that of all original stuff, yeah. So that'd be the first time we're writing with David Reedman, so we're still kind of feeling out 
which which kind of way we're going to go. I mean, every album, I mean, from starting with, with War Machine, War Nation, Velleteers, it's always it's got to move forward. If you're just doing the same stuff all the time, it's, there's no point. It gets a bit boring. Um, so I mean, you know, a lot of old bands seem to do that. They just you know, redo the same stuff. That, but you've got to move forward and just experiment a bit. And I think sometimes it helps with having these lineup changes. You bring another person, another dimension into the band. It changes things, um, which is quite exciting, really. So you write in a in a different way. Um, so even though some people don't like it when you have different singers in all the time, different musicians, but I think it kind of you know it, it works for the band. It's always going to be. That kind of the, the sound, the tank sound will always be there with, with Mick and, and my guitar sound in there. Yeah, Les Paul, Marshall Stack, that's it. So it's always going to be that real raw, um, yeah, guitar sound. Um, but so bringing these different guys in there means you can just you know you can adjust it a little bit and then just experiment. Thirty-eight years ago, last time in Finland, what do you remember about it? Well, actually, the last time I was in, in Finland was was with Diana, yeah. um, which was in two thousand and two, I think. Um, but the first time I was in Finland was was with Diano in '95, '94, '95, um, which which was which was great. I mean, yeah, I loved playing here then. So it's nice to come back here now with Tank, finally. Um, but yeah, it's great crowds. I mean, on, on this this tour, the, you know, we we didn't know what to expect. So um, the crowds have been good. They've really enjoyed the music. They knew the songs, all the old ones and the new ones as well. So it's it's been a real pleasure to be here. It's a shame we've got to go home tomorrow. People, you know this next one, come on. Let me hear you make some fucking noise tonight. been a lot of talking about uh, on the uh, music magazines and all kind of medias that rock and roll is dead. Uh, I think it was first announced by Gene Simmons from Kiss. Uh, what do you think about that? Is it dead? I mean it seems pretty much alive to me but it's, I guess it's hard to say really. Um, I, I don't know. I mean yeah it's, it's there. We're still playing it. It's still alive. Be alive tonight. I know that. So, so there you go. I mean, it's, you know, plenty of great bands out there. I guess a lot of the your iconic bands. I mean, you, you know, a lot of people obviously pass away. Then bands have to split up. They can't go on. So you, that's kind of that does kill it a little bit. And there's nothing really replacing a lot of these bands. Um, yeah, all these big bands fall by the wayside, split up, and they, even UFO a couple of days ago, and, and just heard the sad news that Paul Raymond passed away today, which is which is terrible. I mean, it's. Yeah, right at the end of that band's career, and he's gone. It's just unbelievable. Um, but that's an, another iconic band that, that's gone, and nothing's really replacing the, the, these bands. So once they're all gone, that, I guess that will kind of kill it off a little bit. Is there uh, any artist or band that you'd like to, you know, record an album with, or, or do a one show, or something like that? You must have uh, idols too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like all, all the, the old classics from the you know, 60s and 70s. You know, the Zeppelin, the Free, Kossoff, um, all, all that sort of stuff. That's that's where we sort of grew up. So I, I love that style of music. So I was doing a gig. I said, "Be nice to play with Metallica again." 
you know, after doing the Ride the Lightning tour with them years ago, it'd be nice to come up and do a few more shows with Metallica. I'd like that, you know, just to end, you know, end on that. Last message to Finnish fans, what is it? Um, have a listen to our, our new album coming out, it's on April the 26th, it's titled Reignition. Uh, also we'll have another studio album out next year and we'll have the full European tour uh, coming up later this year, October, September, October. So come and check out the band, it's with real British heavy metal, no frills, just rock and roll, come drink some beers and have a good time with us.